Have you experienced being put on a pedestal in a relationship and then right after that devalued, wondering what happened and then eventually discarded? Well, if this has happened to you, you might have been a victim of love bombing. Hi friends, hi community, Ashley Burgess here today. And today I wanted to find what love bombing is. More often than not, we get love bombing confused with real affection, real romance, and real love. And then before we know it, we see another side of the situation. So let's talk about love bombing and what it truly means. So love bombing's definition is an attempt to influence somebody by demonstrations of attention and affection. Now, in the very beginning, when somebody is love bombing another person, they're giving lots of affection, lots of attention, gifts. They're smothering them with this attention. But for many people that experience this, they love it and they crave it because they haven't ever experienced that type of attention, that type of love, that type of affection. And so they're eating it up, right? And that would be one thing if this continued forever. But the problem with love bombing is that eventually that stops and another cycle begins. You know, it's interesting because love bombing is really a cycle of abuse because it's used to do what? It's used to manipulate and to control. Okay, so think about it. When somebody gets you into a relationship and in the very beginning they're showering all this attention, all this affection on you, giving you all these things, making you feel like you're this amazing person, putting you on this pedestal, and then eventually pulling it all away. Okay? And so that makes the person that was on the pedestal want to get back to those days of being on the pedestal, right? So eventually we think that somehow or not the cycle is going to go back to the way it was, but the problem is that it never goes back that direction. So this is really a psychological manipulation because the person that was getting all the attention that was being love bombed, you know, believed that this was real, believed that this was real romance, real love. And so they believed that they were actually entering a relationship for the first time they were being respected and admired and they were getting attention and all these things that they had never really gotten before. And so they bought into it hook, line and sinker only to see a different side of the person. I want to give you a little bit of backstory on love bombing because this can be kind of interesting because then you get to understand where it kind of originated at and then how it applies into relationships today. So really they did a lot of studies about how cults, right? So religious type cults, how they recruit members in. Right. And so this is something that they would use where they would be all affectionate and giving attention and lots of smiles and all that amazing energy when a new recruit would come in because the person would come in, you know, to try to fit in, to try to find a family dynamic, right, to find people that love them and cared about them. And so they bought into it right? Because everybody was happy and loving and smiling and let me help you and let me listen to what you have to say and we're here for you and we're going to be your family. But it turns out to be something that's not good for the person. Do you see what I'm saying? And so that's where it pretty much originates. Now, love bombing is used a lot by a different people, but it's used normally to control and manipulate. There is a side of love bombing that's not necessarily negative. So, for example, if somebody's giving you a lot of attention and giving you a lot of affection and it never changes and it never goes to devaluation and it's just consistent, that's not a bad thing. Will it feel maybe smothering? Perhaps. But it's not something that's negative, right? So, but we're talking in this video more about the negative type of love bombing that's involved with manipulation and control. So this tactic of love bombing is used by narcissists, Okay, and it's used by narcissists to control their victims or to control their supply. You know, the same thing is used by pimps, right? To control the women that's working for them just as much as gang members to control the, the, the lower tier of gang members to get them to do what they want. We're going to bring you in. We're going to give you security. We're going to give you safety. We're going to give you a place to live. And they, they give them all this love and shower them with all this attention. And then it flips, right? And so it's the same concept, whether it's with the gang members or whether it's with the narcissist. So that's why it really is manipulation because they're telling this person that they're going to give them all these things. They're influencing them with that affection. They're even influencing them with gifts, right? And that's one of the main things to think about is that when this comes really fast and really quickly, it's normally not real, right? And it normally can't sustain. And so that's definitely a red flag to look for. 
In the next video, we will be talking about the signs of love bombing and how in the beginning of the relationships, two things happen. One, there's a lot of attention being showered on you in a very short period of time, okay? And the second thing is there's a huge amount of pressure to take the relationship up to the next level. Like we've all heard people talk about the whirlwind romance or I was swept off my feet. Okay, there you go. So there's a lot of pressure to go from, well, we just went out on our second date to we're talking about marriage, children, moving in together, all these things very quickly. Okay, and these should be red flags for you because in order to have a healthy relationship, we have to get to know somebody. We don't just fall in love with somebody the first time we see them. Okay, and that's kind of a lot of what love bombing is, is that they're going to get you to feel this connection with them. They're basically creating a false connection with you extremely quickly, right? So that they can learn all the stuff about you. So you will actually put down your walls and barriers and you will tell them some of your deepest, darkest secrets, right? Because you trust them because you have this amazing quick romance. And then eventually in the devaluation period, they're going to use those things against you, make you feel really horrible about yourself, and then reel you in even more. Okay, so that's what we're going to be talking on that next video. So I want you to think about these words. Idealization directly reflects on pedestal. So when somebody's idolizing you, they're putting you on a pedestal. Is being on a pedestal real? No. Is that real life? No. Nobody can sit on a pedestal. It doesn't work that way. Okay. The second thing is I want you to think about devaluation, right? What does that mean? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. So somebody takes you off from holding you up at the really high where no human can be held up at, and then they devalue you, right? So it's, it's a huge cycle, right? And then eventually they discard you. Now, can this cycle repeat? Yes. That's why people can break up, get back together, 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 because it's the cycle of idolization, devaluation, discard, repeat. Okay. And so in the process of discarding that person that's been love bombing, the other person might be dating other people, having sex with other people, doing whatever they want, um, avoiding also in the process, probably using a lot of silent treatment and then comes back in, right. And tries to rekindle a conversation. And then the idolization, the pedestal part of that gets shorter, 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 and shorter. So in the beginning, the pedestal part might have been a month, might have been two months. And then eventually on the next cycle, it could be two weeks. On the next cycle, it could be two days. Okay. And so that's reeling in your victim because the victim wants to feel like they felt in the very beginning. Okay, the victim wants to feel showered with that attention and given all that affection because they were craving it, whether it's because they weren't raised in a very loving environment, whether they are very extremely codependent in nature, they love that they're eating that up. And so when they can get just a little crumb of that, they'll stick in it and they think, well, maybe this person will come back around. Maybe if they get help, they can be that person that I met when in reality, they were never that person. So I hope this video has helped you. Look for the next video, the signs of love bombing, because that's going to be very powerful for you to understand not only what love bombing is, but if you're currently in a relationship and being love bombed. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and give us a like on this video if you like it and also share it with your family and friends. Don't forget to live your true life.